Good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning now as I record. And welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution The Missing Link. That name never seems shorter, no matter how many times I say it. Anyway, last time we had just reached the Sally Port and were ready to get off the ship and rendezvous with our mysterious contact, so let's go ahead and do that. Chapter 2 Blind Faith. Captured on board the Hai Zhenzhou shortly after it set sail, Jensen was brutally interrogated by two Bell Tower officials, Peter Burke and Natanya Keitner. His refusal to talk convinced them to leave him in chains until the ship docked at a Bell Tower base. Then someone interceded and disabled Jensen's restraints. He instantly set out to escape, wondering who freed him and why. Now, here is where the DLC gets very different depending on whether or not you were stealthy on the ship. Since I was stealthy, there will be fewer guards and all of the robots will be inactive. Where if you went out guns blazing, there will be extra soldiers and the bots will be active. The technical uh, specification that decides what happens is how many of the ghost bonuses you got on the ship. There were three available. If you got at least two, the base won't be on alert. If you got, if you only got one or got zero, the base will be on high alert. Anyway, let's go. See, inside this container, we've got a machine pistol along with two ammo boxes. Where's my exit? Oh, right here. Getting off the ship gets us an achievement. We haven't had one of those in a while. Out of the frying pan, you made it off the boat, but to what end? That's 3 out of 10 for a total of 37%. Very good. Oops. Now, as I do this, there should only be, uh, three guys in this section. We'll see how that really ends up playing out. I have some crates back here. That's probably worth keeping in mind. Let's just briefly look at that alarm panel. The alarm panel's level 3, and I think they all have been bumped up like that, so if you're not playing Factory Zero and are consequently performing all the hacks, be aware that the alarm panels are level 3 devices now. Okay, I see some guys. Negative. We don't have access via this dock anyway. Top security clearance only. You need to take a leak, you'll have to take the long way around. Oh, you're a goddamn riot. That sounds like another Dock 3 security protocol. I bet those special op assholes have clearance, right? Don't know. Most of them probably don't need to use the washroom like we do anyway. All they need is the occasional oil change. I guess spending all that time in the Australian dust bowl really gums up their gears. All right. Let's wait for these gentlemen to separate, one way or another. Maybe we'll go after the guy on the top floor instead.
So the balcony guard dropped a machine pistol. He carries a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack. Up here on the balcony, you'll notice a level 5 door you can hack if you've got your capture software fully upgraded. There's a second alarm panel, also level 3, which again, you can hack if you're using your practice points. I'm gonna head into this office just to stash the body. Security Hub is level 3, so I can't hack it. Inside these lockers, we have a mine template and a beer. We have also got pistol bullets over here. We have a credit chip, 25 credits, and an unlocked computer, which I guess I'll go ahead and read. From Nigel Ashton to Jackson Andrews regarding cargo transfer. I've already sent a request to PA. Nothing definite yet, at least until the storm calms down. Looks like three big ones waiting for the okay. Plus the interlude is docked at LB3. Good luck finding out anything about that baby. And it looks like at least one of them's been through TKY, so maybe you can convince Burke to let you do a little shopping here. I know how you like those little Asian girls. That way you don't have to go all the way to the plaza to score. Cut out the middleman. N. Jackson Andrew, j.andrew at rbs.belltower.net, wrote, Hey Nige, any word yet on when they're going to open the loading bays? Shift's almost over. I don't want to be on when they decide to unload. I got word from, I don't know, DET Central. They've got a bunch of pods heading out. Rejects for OR, Hengsha, and THA. Probably end up banging one of these next time I go to Soinana. LOL. Jack. From rbs-bt underscore port authority to Jackson Andrews. Forward docking request. Loading bay 2 standby. Docking permission authorized. Ship Hai Zhu. Cargo off. Stasis pods 147 to be transferred via conveyor B. Other materials to be manually unloaded. Cargo on. Stasis pods number TBD to be transferred via conveyor C. Other TBD. Detailed procedures forthcoming. Please send confirmation of receipt of this mail. RBS Port Authority. RBS-BT underscore Port Authority wrote, Affirmative. Docking request accepted. We got a slot open. Following Commander Burke and Lieutenant Commander Keitner's security inspection, you are granted permission to approach and initiate pre-docking procedures outside Loading Bay 2. E.Hawkins at hzz.belltower.net wrote, Solid copy on last transmission. Confirmed arrival of Commander Burke, Lieutenant Commander Keitner, and Relief Security Entourage. Requesting permission to initiate pre-docking procedures. Ewan Hawkins, SN, Bell Tower Associates. From RBS-BT underscore OPSEC to RBS-BT underscore all. Important security measures. Important. Read this. Security-related incidents have become an increasingly common occurrence. Do I need to remind you all that this is a highly covert military base? All personnel must report for their bi-monthly biometric security clearance scans as scheduled. These scans are required to make sure our records stay up to date and that you will be allowed to pass through all security checkpoints for which you were cleared. This applies to everyone at Rifleman Bank Station, be it regular forces, special operations, visiting dignitaries and researchers, or non-military contractors. Any one of you who has not been scanned recently must report to the main security office immediately. Any breach of protocol occurring at security checkpoints will be fully investigated. Security concerns us all. Gabriel Hammond, Operation Security, Bell Tower Associates. If you are reading this and you shouldn't be, then this does not apply to you. From RBS-BT underscore chaplaincy to RBS-BT underscore all, religious services to all. The short message is to remind you that all that Rifleman Bank Station holds regular non-denominational services for those wanting to partake. The services schedule is posted outside the chapel. There is also the possibility of arranging specific services for individuals or small groups of the following religious groups and denominations. Rastafarian, Christian, Roman Catholic, Anglican, Protestant, Mennonite, Unitarian, Lutheran, Judaic, Reform, Orthodox, Jewish Science, Hindu, Smartist, Shaktist, Islam, Sunni, Shia, Shinto, Vodun, Haitian, Louisianan, Sci-Fi Dietetic, Dormentalist, 
Neo-Pagan, Lower South Side Druidic, Ancient Egyptian. Please respond directly if you wish to attend, but do not see yourself on the list. I will do what I can. Thank you, Philip D. Rose, 2nd Lieutenant, Chaplain, Rifleman Bank Station. On a side note, anyone interested in pickup basketball, some light sparring, or an impromptu jam session, I play a mean sax, should PM me. All right. Let's drop this guy. He dropped a pistol. He carries painkillers and 50 credits. Oh, I didn't want to pick up the pistol. Always have to be careful with that. for my energy cell to recharge and then go after the third gentleman. You can see him on the radar already. If he's smoking a cigarette, he's probably going to stay in the same spot for a while. This is an inactive box guard. I won't be doing anything to it since I can't use grenades or weapons, but if that doesn't apply to you, then obviously you should go to town and get the experience. Oh. Came to the wrong side of the container. That's alright. Hmm. need a different plan to deal with that gentleman. He'll need to be pulled off the wall. Okay, the camera doesn't pan this far over. That's good. He dropped a shotgun. I want to pull his buddy over, too, just so they're actually out of the way. Feels better to me, you know. He carries a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack. That's all quite handy. Now, if we go behind these crates, there's a vent, which I'll want to explore in a minute. But not right away. As you can see, this container has a breakable wall. I need to find a metal crate, as per the old trick from on board the ship, if I want to get in there. I'm not sure if there are any. At 
least not without trekking all the way back into the ship, although admittedly that is an option I might want to think about. have to get it through the Activating security, security scan. scan. Okay, I can't get back onto the ship. Well, damn. Maybe a wooden crate will work if I <clears throat> just go through some of them, you know? Let's find out. That might be a pipe dream, but hope, st hope springs eternal in my world. Crate breaks after four throws. It takes 30 to break open a wall. So I won't be able to get in there just yet. I need to find a metal crate first. can do is get up into this container. I'll take a total of four crates, but I have five available, which is good. Inside this container, by the way, there's a stun gun and a pack of stun gun darts. Over there, I should have pointed it out earlier, you can see the third level 3 alarm panel. As hackable as the rest of them. guess I only needed two. So we'll be back here later, I guess. Wait, am I in the right place? No, not even close. Okay, so in here we find a combat box of combat rifle ammo and two beers. I should look at my inventory. Oh yeah, I'm doing fine. Let's go over to where we dropped the two guys. Keep our eyes up. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yes. Here's where I need the fourth crate anyway. Is still okay. Come on. Hundred XP Pathfinder bonus for coming up here. There's a launcher barrel for a rocket launcher, which we do want to take. A reload speed upgrade and a credit chip with 150 credits. down just in case I do find a good way to reuse them. There's a high ladder somewhere in here near the entrance. Right now I'm just on the lookout for a ladder that I would need to stack crates to actually jump onto. Somewhere. Here's one other thing we can do. This laser grid is actually just a level one hack, so let's hack it right quick. I'm gonna nuke the data store on my way to the exit. Access granted. 50 XP in the data store plus 25 for the hack. And the laser grid is off at least. Now, where is this ladder? Maybe I'll be able to see it if I go up here. I got 
more crates, but they're all wooden. I guess that doesn't really matter. I have my suspicion that that crate up there is what I need to get into. this turns out to be wrong, I won't be very happy. But... Since that's probably what will happen...
this is annoying. I think I'm going to have to manage to toss it, which is just going to be an exercise in trial and error. And then, of course, it could turn out I'm not even looking at the right spot, so if that happens, I apologize. Oh, Jensen. What a pain this is. If this turns out to not even be the right spot, then I'll really be unhappy. Oh, Jensen, no. That's one way to do it. Well, this isn't what I was looking for, but there is a mine template, a sniper rifle, and a box of sniper rifle ammo in here, so I wouldn't call it a loss. There's supposed to be a ladder somewhere in this loading bay. That's what I'm not finding.
Let me check the rest of it out. If I head into this vent, I get a 100 XP Traveler bonus. Brings me here, just to the other side of the laser grid. That's loading bay 2. I'm not ready to do that yet. That's a new section. There are at least two more 300 point exploration bonuses inside this loading bay. I want to get them both, and then I want to start sacrificing crates to. break open that wall. Fine, we're just gonna do this. I know this is the coward's way out, but if I turn on highlighting, maybe I can spot the ladder. We also do need to get up on that catwalk, because that vent... Oh, let's look up here, there's a hypo stim. I probably shouldn't accept that hypo stim. Since I got it through the shenanigans of object highlighting. There's another vent up there. Well, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to leave behind that hypo stim I found since I found it with shenanigans. Where is this ladder? Maybe it's outside. I've said that once already, but there's a vent out here. I think so, anyway. Maybe there isn't, but I don't know where the... Oh, it won't let me go deep sea diving. I'm sorry folks, I'm sure watching me meander around like this is incredibly irritating, but... The wiki says... Area accessible by a high-placed ladder... Near the entrance to Loading Bay 2. This is the entrance to Loading Bay 2. Somewhere near here... Is a highly-placed ladder. level with you. 
I see nothing. Try this. If I can get another crate or two up here, I'll actually have a stable way up. easy on me, but as I always say, hope springs eternal. Alright, come on now. That shouldn't surprise me either. Yeah. Alright, new plan. I'm making a permanent save. I'm using my Praxis points to get the jump enhancement. Turning on object highlighted. Oops, come on. Back, back for a second. <laughs> Now I'm hoping that this will be sufficient to let me see whatever this ladder is. Oh. Ah, Jensen. where that vent goes. So I'm pretty sure the one over there goes into loading bay too, but... Or loading bay one, rather. <laughs> now Jensen's stuck.
Nothing out here. Nothing. Ugh. Aha! This is the one. Okay, we found it. About damn time, too. Sorry, folks. Thankfully, that is pretty easy to get to. Now I'm so excited, I'm not paying attention to basic things like cameras and box guards. Okay, up these stairs. Just gotta get on top of this guy. I'm sure I can do with just a couple of crates. Why is highlight still on? Ah. Oh, crud. We'll get back, back to Factory Zero with the autosave. Auto save saves the day. Now, quick save is where it should be. That was close, folks. Ay, ay, ay. Lots of tedium involved in really getting everything. I apologize once more for that, but I think. I really think we're finally about to clear this section. Hope so, anyway. Need one more crate. Ah. Okay, now we're up here. Let's head up this ladder. Pretty sure that's the vent to loading bay two, or loading bay one, so instead let's cross over this thing. Let's check out this vent. That's worth a cool 300 XP. Back here we find an ammunition count upgrade. A beer. Oh. 
And there's the ladder near the entrance I should have been looking for the whole time. Okay. Now it all makes sense. Well, let's head back up here. Pop into this vent over to Loading Bay 1. Another cool 300 experience. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice my wooden crates. to get into the uh, one container with the bro breakable wall. I'm gonna have to use, I'm gonna end up destroying nearly every crate I have. So. I cross out here. I'm out of range of the camera. so far. I should count throws, because it's supposed to take 30. There's 13, 14, 15... Sixteen, seventeen. enough crates? That is the question. Five, 
26. It's going to be so sad if I get 29 and it doesn't break. 7, 28. I think I need a metal crate. I think I have tapped this place out. Can't pick up those bigger ones. Give me credit for this much, I am committed. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-one. And that did it! We're in! There's my two hundred points. Alright. There's a tranquilizer rifle, two hypo stems, a painkiller, and a box of tranquilizer darts. Now there is one other thing I just want to test. I'll do it with that second crate I found, saw. Who's there? Not just yet. to see just I mean I obviously can't do it right now with this wooden one but I just want to see if I can hassle box guards with crate tossing or not I can that's good to know so I need to come back here with a metal crate as well
Fair enough. Okay. I'm gonna position myself here at the entrance to Loading Bay 1. I'm gonna redo this particular permanent save. Update my quick save and call it a video. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution The Missing Link. We meandered around a lot. It was tedious and I'm sorry, but we got everything we can get, almost anyway, out of Loading Bay 2. I need to come back with a metal crate and go through the war of attrition that will be destroying that box guard. I have no idea how many tosses it'll take. I'll look it up online after I stop this recording and see if it's a feasible thing or not. And anyway, next time we will tackle Loading Bay 1, which is where the rendezvous point with our contact is hidden. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.